Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today guys, we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on our Ascendant Creature series, and we are currently looking for a raptor to tame up. Um, this has been one of the more requested creatures that we do an Ascendant uh, episode on, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to tame up one of these raptors that is over here. Um, may or may not work out super well, hoping it does. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and turn on uh, infinite ammo here. And there we go, super easy. All right, now there is another raptor over here as well. That works, didn't even need to bola them. Okay, um, actually they both look kind of cool. So I might actually tame up both of them. We'll have our purple one and we'll have our green one. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be more interesting that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and as usual, generate biotoxin for these guys. And then once we have all of the biotoxin in here, um, we can start leveling up and then we can feed them some meat to tame them up. All right, so let's go ahead and just give you a bunch of those. Give you a bunch of these. All right. Cool. So this is going to be quite a few taps here, so I'm probably only going to try to level these guys up to about um, maybe 1k each, I think would be pretty good. Um, beyond that, I think would be a little bit overkill. Raptors are going to be plenty OP, I think, um, and I do actually want to use more of like the designated levels that I can pump in versus the levels that are just randomly distributed this time around. So yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Um, should be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it should be really awesome. We'll, we'll see how much damage we can do. We'll see how much health we can get. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be pumping some movement speed as well. So it should be, should be an interesting experiment here today. So I will see you guys in a little bit once we get these guys up and we are ready to start testing out our new Ascendant Raptors. Okay guys, so we are back. Uh, these Raptors came out pretty nice. I did level them all the way up to 1000 while unconscious, and so they came out at 1454 and 1459 levels, which is not too, too bad here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and equip a saddle on this purple one, because I kinda like the purple. I um, think I wanna try this one out first. Um, all right, so base stats for this one are 9,200 health, 3,300 stamina, um, 3,100 oxygen, and then 1,455 melee. So not too, too bad starting off here. Definitely some room for improvement, which is actually kind of what I wanted. So yeah, I'm super looking forward to trying this girl out. Um, yeah, so this is basically where we're at right now normal speed. Raptors are pretty quick, but they're definitely not the quickest thing in the world. Um, actually, let's go ahead and turn off these items. And yeah, that way we'll get a little bit better of a test, um, kind of where we're at now, and then we'll see how good we can get this creature with the Ascendant Creature Unlock. Um, don't know if I can get this Spino to come and attack me. We'll see how it works. Ugh. Can I get over the rock? Thank you. Apparently not. The Spino does not want to attack. All right, there we go. Cool, so um, we do a decent amount of damage. It's clearly not like an OP amount, uh, mostly because the Raptor doesn't have a very high base amount of damage. Um, yeah, their pounce is really their ability that makes them super crazy strong. So as long as you can pounce things, you do okay. Other than that, it makes it a little bit difficult. All right, let's see if there's anything we can actually pin down. That would be more fun. Nothing. This area is always kind of empty. All right, so given that, given that we killed a Spino without too much issue, we are a little bit slow for my liking here. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm gonna make it like midday here so that we can actually see. And I'm gonna start adding in some of these levels to the Raptor. And again, this level up self button, as long as you're mounted on a creature, those levels apply to the creature itself, not to your character. All right, so just a few levels here. <laughs> just a few, 354. Um, yeah, that's barely any movement speed. Yeah, let's go a little higher. Maybe you're like 500. 
ish percent. There we go. And then we'll put the rest into health for now, just to make sure we have a good baseline here. Oh, that does a lot of health. That's actually excellent. Excellent. That adds so, so much more health than I thought it was going to. Um, wow. Okay. So that's 166,000 health and 500% movement speed. I seriously doubt we will ever need any more movement speed ever or any more health ever. It's actually gotten so fast it's hard to control because they do have such a high base speed. Yeah, 500% is kind of insane. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, yeah, so we still don't do very much damage, which is kind of interesting. It's about 150. It's not very much, um, but we're so fast and we have so much health that I seriously doubt anything could even put a dent in us at this point. Oh my goodness. Look at us go. This is delightful. I like how fast we are. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Okay. Um, yeah, and I barely used any levels on this guy so far, so that makes it even better, in my opinion. There we go. Pin the moss chops. Um, I'll leave the Lystro. We'll be... We'll be good raptors. We'll leave the Lystros. They're too cute. Alright, and then our jump is obviously ridiculously long. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. They're actually very, very good. Um... <laughs> At least compared to the other creatures, like, their jump is just naturally a long one anyway. So as long as you're, like, running in a straight line off of something, you end up with, like, this really long glide, which is kind of cool. Oh my gosh. And we're not so fast that you can't control it, which is also very nice. And we're small, so we fit over and under a lot of things, which is super helpful. Um, Alright, but we're still kind of weak, so I think I kind of want to add a little bit more in terms of damage. Here's some Parasaurs, uh, yeah. Got some Parasaurs here so we can test out our damage, um, here. So let's go ahead and add a few more levels in. Just a few. 300-ish more. <laughs> we'll see how much the melee improves. If the base is already 14-something, we should have a ridiculous amount of melee coming our way. Get out of here. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn on the level up. And let's just put it all into melee and see where we end up. Very nice. All right. 20,000 exactly. Uh, perfect. Could not have asked for a better melee. All right. Oop. And dead. <laughs> oh, man. I love having just, like, super OP creatures. There's really not even any point to it. You can pretty much just one-hit kill everything, and it's amazing. Um, let's see where we can go. It's a little hard to navigate around the swamp part of the map. I need to, like, get up high so I can see where I am. I'm not actually even sure where I am. Wait, wait. Hello, Carno. Oh my gosh, Dillo's everywhere. The only problem is, is that it's actually very hard to aim now. <laughs> it's very hard to aim now. I do like it, but it does make it kind of difficult to do some stuff. Um, alright, so that's probably where we want to go. Alright, that raptor's not going to have any part of it. Yeah, we probably want to head over this way to where the tougher stuff is. We definitely want to fight things that are a little bit bigger, have a little bit more health. Um, oh man, we can't one-shot a Bronto. <laughs> We're not doing enough damage, guys. Oh man, we're only doing like 2k damage per hit. That's not enough, for sure. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's head over this way. We'll go north quite a ways and see if we can find something a little bit bigger to fight. Um, I'm probably going to try to put this guy, I don't know, maybe up around like 100,000 melee. Just a ridiculous amount of melee. I want to see what all we can one-shot with that. Definitely the Brontos. Um, hopefully something even bigger. That would be really, really cool to see that. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start searching for something that's a little bit tougher to fight. Um, add in those levels to melee, and I'll bring you guys back in just a minute here while I search around for those tougher creatures after I kill this Carno. <laughs> Alright, so I'll bring you guys back in just a second. 
Okay guys, so we are back and I have pumped quite a few levels into this raptor now. We now have 300,000 health, um, same amount of stamina, uh, still a decent amount of oxygen, but we also now have 100,000 melee damage. So 300k health, 100k melee. Uh, this raptor is definitely OP. I think it is probably one of the strongest creatures I've ever had on here in terms of just like stat numbers. Um, yeah, and so we're over here at Herbivore Island, and there is actually a Titanosaur over here, so I do think we have to give this a shot. Um, Titanator Titanosaurs are super OP and definitely very strong. We're pretty comparable in terms of health. Um, this one should have about 230k, I should have about 300k, and then damage-wise, I do do a lot of damage, but it's not much um, base damage compared to like what the titanosaur has so uh, yeah I think this is gonna be an interesting fight I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that invulnerable is off so we definitely can take damage here and hopefully we win this fight but I honestly don't know that we will oof oh it hurts oh my goodness oh gosh we went flying no that's the opposite of what I wanted Okay, well, at least we're going to land in the water. <laughs> nope. Okay, landing in the water is ideal here because if we landed on land, that would actually hurt quite a bit. There we go. All right, let's run back around the island here real fast. Um, all right, into the water and back at it. So, yeah, we do quite a bit of damage here, but it is definitely not much compared to what the titanosaur itself can do. Come here. Stop swimming. Alright, he's gonna be a pain, but um, that is okay. We should still be able to um, see how much damage we're doing. It's quite a bit. We're definitely taking this guy down. He's already already dying and uh, we've barely hit him at all, so um, Raptor is definitely an OP creature at this time, especially with how much oxygen we have here. It's just not an issue at all. Hi, Megalodons. Mess with my Raptor. I dare you. Yeah, we're just going to take all these down as well, because why not? <laughs> super easy. Okay. Yeah, so that was uh, pretty much it. That was super, super easy to take down. Um, he did hit us back, but he didn't hurt that much, so I think even if we'd been on land, it would not have been an issue. Did I? I literally ran onto land and got stuck in the rocks because they didn't render in right away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so still, um, base damage on raptors is not that great. Even at 100,000, they're still not doing enough to one-hit a titanosaur, but they are just so generally fast, um that they really have an advantage there and yeah i did not realize raptors could get that much health if you had a decent base health so that's what's kind of crazy about this is that we don't even have all that much base health i think we had like nine thousand, and with very few levels i was able to get it up to um 300 000. so that is kind of crazy and yeah i definitely had fun in that fight <laughs> It did not last long. The poor Titanosaur did not stand a chance, especially being in the water like it was. But that's okay. Um, still had a lot of fun with it. Just like murder that raptor. Just murder these raptors. They don't even get a chance to fight me anymore. It's so good. Alright guys, so yeah. Um, I think the raptor might actually be one of my favorite ascendant creatures so far, just because they are super maneuverable. This is just the right amount of speed, I think, to not get super crazy. Um, they do still do the flying thing, which is pretty awesome. And they can take down um, pretty much any creature on the island in like zero time flat just because of how fast they attack, even if their base damage isn't that high. So very, very cool creature to have and use for this kind of thing. And yeah, I super had fun with this guy. Probably going to try to do my other one up just as well and uh, take him out a little bit because why not? Having two Ascendant Raptors has got to be better than having just one. 
All right, guys. So yeah, I do think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off there. So if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, guys, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.